Apple, the computer company, is good at innovation. That sentence enrages a lot of people who aren't fully aware of what I mean by the term innovation. Innovation does not mean wholesale invention from scratch. That's what we call invention. Yes, this is about anime. We'll get to that in a second. Merriam-Webster actually does a great job of explaining the difference between innovation and invention. The first ever telephone was an invention, while the first smartphone was an innovation. The telephone was largely new, while the smartphone combined multiple existing technologies in a new way. Apple didn't invent the personal computer, or the mouse, or the GUI, or the personal music player, or the smartphone. Instead, the original Macintosh was a cleverly designed, easy-to-build PC, more so than most other PCs at the time. The iPod was a cleverly designed personal music player, which removed a lot of the existing barriers to entry. By the way, I personally remember what it was like when the iPod was released, and I can tell you its competition was weak. Okay, bringing it back to anime. Studio Gainax has been behind some of the most beloved anime of the 1980s and 90s. Otaku no Video, Wings of Honiyamise, Gunbuster, Nadia and the Secret of Blue Water, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Gurren Lagann, Furikuri later on. Their resume is impressive. They're known for being different. And the problem is that otaku hear about Gainax and start watching Gainax shows and expect invention. But Gainax isn't about that. Gainax is an innovator. Evangelion takes popular mecha tropes and violently inverts them. The first episode of Gunbuster is a direct homage to a famous girls' tennis anime. Gurren Lagann is one giant homage to the over-the-top super robot shows of the 1970s. Nadia was actually an idea by Hayao Miyazaki that he abandoned and Gainax picked up. And the thing is, that's okay. Wholesale invention doesn't necessarily lead to good art. Invention and innovation are both ways of exploring art, of coming up with ideas, and neither is superior. Obsessing over exactly how original an anime is distracts us and completely misses the point. The better question is, what does it do? Does it inspire you, excite you, entertain you, make you think? The works of Gainax continue to impress us decades later, whether they're inventions or innovations. And that's the point. That is what makes Gainax a great innovator.